<laughs> so how are you feeling and how was how was the last week and a half kind of coming back from the concussion? Uh, I feel good. Um, obviously, it's a different perspective. Uh, it was really weird. Um, just kind of feeling a little helpless, uh, not being padded up, not being able to uh, help physically, but I was mentally there for them, uh, you know, supporting uh, Preston and Kevin. Uh, obviously, feel terrible for Preston. He's having a great game. And, uh, to have an injury like that sucks, but Kevin did a great job, obviously, of stepping up and doing what he needed to do. What, what kind of, uh, you know, I guess, encouragement did you give Kevin when he went in there, you know, and, and got his first taste of action? I mean, just don't, don't make it too much. I mean, everyone was trying to, like, come up to him, like, just chill out and just, you're here for a reason, you're good enough to do this, so just believe in yourself and whatever you have is enough, so I'm just like, do it, do what you do. I didn't try to crowd him with anything. I just let him come to me if he needed anything. What what is that dynamic, you know, between you and Kevin? But even you, Preston and Kevin, you kind of the older veteran guy with a couple kind of younger brother type out there. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's cool. Uh, I mean, like you said, Kevin's like four years younger than me, which is pretty crazy. That's a pretty big uh, big gap, um, but it's awesome. I mean, I think we have a great quarterback room, not just talent wise, but just. We're all boys, so that makes it a lot better. With his demeanor, did you maybe even question that he would be that it would be a big thing for him, and that he'd be nervous because it seems like it wouldn't knowing. No, him. not really. Yeah. Kevin's kind of even keel, no matter what. So up and down, he's about the same. So no, I, I wasn't. I wouldn't expect him to freak out or anything like yeah. that. What have the last few weeks been like? Because you know, Brett's talked about you gutting it out through some other you know injuries, whatever they are. I mean. You get yourself ready to play each week, and then you have the concussions kind of taken completely, like like you said, out of your hands. Um, like, what is it like? To... It just like you've been kind of playing through things. And yeah. Then you get told, no, you've got to do all these protocols, and you can't I mean, do it's, anything. You know, it sucks. I mean, it kind of makes you feel helpless yeah. um, because of concussion. Like, it's not something you can see. You can see a guy in an knee brace or something. It's just it's up in your head, and. Uh, it just it gives you weird feelings. I mean, concussion's weird. Uh, I mean, it sucked, but it gave me perspective on um, you can't take this game for granted. Uh, I mean, some guys are out for the year. I mean, Preston got in and uh, I mean, he sustained a pretty good injury. So um, I'm lucky I'm able, I'm able to come back in just a week. So um, just kind of staying the course. What do, what do you see out of this Houston defense? Athletic, really good um, athletically. Uh, they fly around and they get to the ball and they play hard. So we're going to have to have a good game plan. How big was it? You know, Coach mentioned you going out, wanting to go out and doing pregame warm ups with the guys and then just being back in, in practice again. Just how nice is it to get, get back in that rhythm? Oh, it feels great. It feels great to be able to be back out here and do what we do. Um, like I was saying earlier, like sitting out and watching was really weird. Felt weird, didn't feel good. Um, so yeah, I'm really happy to be back. Being on the headset, I mean, was there any, and just having that different perspective, I mean, was there anything you took from it? I mean, obviously, I mean, you've, you've been a backup quarterback before and right. been able to watch and listen, but was there anything that reminded you, rekindled anything positive about it? Yeah, it was cool to, it gave me a different perspective, just seeing, um, like, when you're out there, you're you're thinking, what, this, this, and this, like, it's kind of going fast, and you're thinking about the play, and whenever you're sitting back with just the headset, you can listen to play call, you can look at the defense with a calm manner and just be like, just think through things, um, so that was cool. And just to listen to coaches uh, converse on a headset about uh, what they do throughout the game, just hearing it the whole time, it's, it's pretty cool. What, do you, what have you seen from Rasheed Rice from the moment you met him last year to, to now? Um, I mean, he's a stud. I mean, he goes and gets the ball better than anyone, I think, in the country. Um, and, I mean, just becoming a leader, too, from last year, I think is maybe his biggest step. He's always, I think he's always had the the uh, physical nature, but um, like I said, it's done. With having, you know, playing through some injuries, having to sit out last week, do you feel like maybe a reset button's been hit? Do you feel maybe a little better than you you have in, in previous weeks? Absolutely. Um, everything that came with the concussion, um, one positive thing is I got a little bit of rest, got a little, be able to recharge my batteries a little bit. So yeah, I do feel, feel good. What, have you seen any differences on film between kind of last year's Houston defense and you know, this year's, I think they're going to be out of a couple guys in the secondary, or having some new guys play a little bit in the secondary, too. Um, they got some new faces on the defense, but um, I think they play just as hard. Um, same athletically. They're they're really good athletically. They can fly around. Uh, last year, they they had 
one of the top D lines in the country, I think, with sack numbers. I'm not sure, but um, they're good again on the D line. So, I mean, Houston's kind of a recruiting hotspot, and uh, they also have a bunch of JUCO guys and transfers that they've utilized the transfer portal in JUCO really well, really well. And um, yeah, they're gonna fly around. Take one more. Good.